So, we come to our very last award of the evening, the Buff Honorary Award. The Buff Honorary Award. <laughs> Buff's highest accolade, would you please welcome an actress who has graced our screens for the part, best part of 40 years, a woman who has worked with tonight's recipient, going all the way back to Brothers and Sisters on BBC Two in the late 90s. She worked on some of UK's most popular dramas and soaps, including Family Affairs, Casualty, The Bill. She also starred in Elmina's Kitchen and The Murder of Stephen Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, a generous round of applause, please, for Miss Donna Kroll. Yeah. Members of the board, pupils, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be standing here before you this evening. Um, history will be made on this stage as the British Urban Film Festival honours a woman for the first time. A woman whose work is far from done, and yet when you consider what she's already accomplished, the legacy of Amma Asante, MBE, <laughs> is already assured. Child actress, children's television producer, screenwriter, director, mentor, role model, BAFTA award winner, and now a Buff award winner. <laughs> we have a lot to thank Amma for. We have a lot to thank Grange Hill for having given this same award to one of its former TV pupils, Ashley Walters, last year. Tonight, it's Amma's turn to receive the honour, and like Ashley, it was at Grange Hill, where the public love affair with Amma began. Now, Grange Hill, for those of us <coughs> of a certain age, <laughs> was probably the most famous TV school in the UK, long before Waterloo Road took hold on the public <laughs> conscience. Anna also has a distinction of being a former pupil at one of the longest established stage schools in the world, the Barbara Speak School. <laughs> They're here with us tonight. Speak was initially set up as a dancing school in 1945 and in the intervening 63 years has allowed young children to grow in confidence and self-esteem via the arts. Other former pupils who have come through their doors include supermodel Naomi Campbell, actress and singer Michelle Gale, actor and lead singer of Genesis Phil Collins oh. and the current artistic director of the Young Vic Kwame Kwe Ama. I have no doubt that the next generation of pupils will treasure this moment tonight, sharing in Amma's joy and taking comfort from knowing that in the years ahead, should you be fortunate enough to have a long and fulfilling career as I have, and indeed Amma has, that you too will be acknowledged by organisations like Buff, which have gone out of their way to document and champion the heritage of black British film. Its remit remains inclusive, but at its core is a recognition that like Richard Pryor, Will Johnson, Ashley Walters, and now Amma Asante, we have a lot to shout about in terms of our glorious past, our present explosion on screen and off screen, and our exciting future. A future that will be shaped not just by trailblazers like Amma, but by the pupils of Barbara Speak and beyond. As she herself has said, Amma is here to disrupt expectations and long may those disruptions continue. 
I first knew Emma as an actress, uh, but then she started to write when she was, I think, 22 years old and wrote um, a comedy initially for Channel 4 and was commissioned to write six episodes of that. Uh, and then that didn't actually get on screen, but went through a long development period. And then her next project was Brothers and Sisters for BBC Two, a drama series which um, she wrote and co-produced. <laughs> To sin that boy getting off scot free. Idiotic. Not scot free, didn't do it. Just because Lester wasn't found guilty doesn't mean he didn't do it. Chris, you are behaving quite unchristianly. The pastor of our church has a murderous brother and a father who spawns illegitimate children across the world. How unchristian can you get? Well, one can't imagine Pastor Peter's being quite so. Uh, energetic <laughs> so that was I did two series of that with her and it was after that that she started writing a way of life um, and the idea was to then get a director to take it on board and do it as a feature film um, it eventually came back from the film council at the time who are now the BFI Paul Tribitz who was running that fund gave her the challenge to direct it and Probably that was the biggest sort of life-changing move that he could have done setting that challenge for. He gave her the weekend to think it over and she decided, yes, I'll try and direct it. Or she hadn't had ambitions to direct up to that point, but there's nothing like a baptism of fire. And it was her vision and she directed it and won, as people know, many awards and that really set her career going. Her being a female film director, being the first to be honoured by Buff, is so monumental for filmmakers like me, my generation, the 80s, 90s, and then filmmakers behind me who are being, you know, coming out of college now in the 2000s, in the 21st century, to know that it's possible, you can, you know, get your BAFTA, you can get a Buff Award, you can make films that do great at the box office, you can make independent films, and that your voice will be heard. Father will hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. She might change her mind. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. Are you insane? White, British, and she's a salesman's daughter. Hello, Emma, it's Arnold. Um, I just want to say you deserve this award. Um, and I'm, I'm truly grateful for you giving me the opportunity to be in your film and um, for all the advice and, and information you've always given me, the fact that you've always been there, the fact that before even my audition I could even message and call you and, and get some info and pointers was, a, was, a, was an absolute blessing for me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much and congratulations. We shall be receiving visitors for dinner. Why do you not dine with your family ever? Because that is not correct. May I present the second of my two nieces, Miss Dido Lindsay? I find her repulsive. Papa, how may I be too high in rank to dine with the servants and too low to dine with my family? Though I understand she is kept under interesting rules, she raises questions. Would you do me the honor of taking some air with me? Don't you care what people will say? What should anyone say? I have no idea she would be so... Black. One does not make a wife of the rare and exotic. Does she still have a tongue? I have a tongue. Though yours explains well enough why I may not marry your son. My greatest misfortune would be to marry into a family who would carry me as their shame. Being a black woman, a mixed race woman, um, in a period drama, centre stage, not the servant, not the maid, but actually the love interest, the main person we're looking at. That was groundbreaking. Because in the UK, very often, you know, the excuse given for a lack of diversity in film is that we're obsessed with period dramas. And Amma completely just blew that out of the water by having Belle, this amazing, amazing woman, at the centre of the story. So yeah, Belle, always for me. Uh, for the British Urban Film Festival to be honouring Amma, it's, uh, it's about time. <laughs> and uh, I think that, um, you know, it's well she's well deserved of, uh, of this honour. Um, and for Buff as well, just being a platform for our voices. I think, you know, being the first female to be honoured at Buff, um, the first of many, 
uh, I think is, uh, is an amazing achievement, incredible. There's going to be people in the audience from Barber Speak thinking about their next role, thinking about their future, what's life going to be like for me after I leave stage school. To have a benchmark like an AMA to think, again, this is a career. This is not, I'm not going to be, you know, a runner forever making teas and coffees. I can actually pick up a camera. I can direct people. I can write and have my writing seen and heard. I think it's just great for the pupils to know that within their own community, she's still so accessible that she will be a great role model for all of the students there. And I hope they really enjoy tonight. I really feel like she took me under her wing because we met a while ago. We met, um, where did we meet? We met while we was, I think she was promoting, um, uh, I can't remember, she was promoting one of her films and I was promoting The Good Liar. And we met at the NAACP Awards. Um, uh, my film was nominated and her film was nominated and, and we met there briefly. But then where we, where we finally sort of made a friendship was where we sat at the same table at the Screen Nation Awards. And that sort of like sealed the deal. Because from there we found out, oh, what, you was in Grange Hill? I was, you was here, I was. And then that's when we really formed a bond from there and been, been friends ever since, you know? So, yeah, I'm grateful for that, man. Amma, just want to say a big congratulations for this award. Thank you for being you, creating this space for black female British filmmakers to shine. Um, thank you for just creating amazing work and really pushing the bar up in, in filmmaking. And hope we continue seeing more of your amazing presence on the screen. Amma, you have uh, paved the way. You've been an inspiration to me even when I was living in Toronto and moving into London. And I absolutely love the work that you do. And I cannot wait to see more of your work and to see you at Buff 2018. Well done, Emma. You richly deserve this award. Um, it's very important, I think, to be recognised by your own community in London and in Britain. And um, I think you're a role model for lots of people. I kind of see it all the time and hear it all the time. So enjoy tonight. No guy around here whilst a girl doesn't know what she's doing. Slap me. You don't know what's good for that child and what's not. Rebecca is the only thing in this world that I give a shit about. And the only thing in this world that gives a shit about me. Cause every day is just the same. You act like stray dogs. What's wrong with you? That's a shooting star, that is. God's teardrop, my mum used to say. My arse, Alice. Do you want a fridge, madam? Oh, my God! Bloody hell, it's still got food in it. We aim to please. Take her, please. Rebecca! <sighs> ah! I'm really not sure how you can live this way. Wow, uh, hey, hey man, I can't give you that right now. <laughs> I can't give you that. I'll tell you what, wait there. It's hard every time. I can never think, because then you start getting to your, your vocab and your thesaurus, and you're like, what? What rhymes with? I can give it to you, then I gotta just write it down and then. You see, like, you see if it's. Oh, these are gonna be outtakes. Nah. I just gotta go. I know, do you know what it is? I should know. I'm gonna go. I'll be, I'll be ready next time. I'll be ready next time. Amazing pioneer. She's just great, isn't it? She's, <laughs> she's a great person, isn't it? That's it, man. I don't know, bro. I'm out, man. Yeah, yeah, you got me. You got the best bits. Yeah. No, thank you, man. Let me come out of these lights. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, 
to receive the 2018 British Urban Film Festival Honorary Award. Please be upstanding as I welcome with joy onto this stage Miss Amma Asante. Congratulations to all of the winners and the nominees. I want to thank you, Buff, but also quick kudos to you for making this festival and these awards possible, for taking matters into your own hands and ensuring that burgeoning and beautiful talent has a platform so that audiences can experience it. I really feel honored, but also very privileged to receive this award. It is great encouragement to me. I tweeted yesterday that receiving such an award was very special because any kind of recognition for a person who all at once hits the intersection of being black and female yes. and British yes. and a filmmaker, yes. well, that's very special. <laughs> but what I also wanted to say is that it's also very rare. Me one second. But what I also wanted to say is that the recognition alongside our peers can also be very rare. Despite four movies under my belt, one due out later in the year, the struggle is real when it comes to allowing the space for women of colour to make movies, to find financing and to find our contributions uh, being offered recognition. So I also want to say this, just look at the figures because I say it all the time, they do not lie. We do not have the space yet. Yet, I want to say that receiving this award is at least proof, part proof, that it is possible at the end of the day. I feel that having done four films, I'm still at the beginning of my career. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why I feel this is because we know that those who have previously had the privilege to be making films traditionally would have been considered at the beginning of their careers if they had made only two, three, four films. And I know that as we begin our filmmaking careers, when we're making our first short or our first feature, we're so completely tunnel visioned that it's difficult to think past post-production, let alone a career. And yet in order for us to be able to call ourselves directors with careers, we have to have sustainable, viable, um, careers, we have to have sustainable, viable work that goes on beyond more than one film, beyond two films, beyond three films, beyond four films. So my hope and my wish in receiving this award is that in the years to come, Buff will have a plethora of talent that it can look at in order to honour and celebrate, not just through four films, which is still the beginning of a career, but seven, eight, nine, ten, just like those people who have been given the privilege before us and whose work um, stands alongside ours. I'm really sorry that I've been a little bit broken up in terms of my speeches because I'm so ill this evening, but I wanted to be here tonight um, to say thank you to all of you, to say thank you to Bath, and just to say how honoured I am and how encouraging this is for me to keep going so that eventually I can also make that sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth movie. Um, and I look forward to you all being there alongside me. There's room for all of us and we have to make it so that there isn't just one that there are many of us yes. um, going through. So thank you. Woo!